Alright, what's up guys? It's x 2 rabbit 2 x here, back with some Minecraft modding made easy. And today, um, I think I'm going to have something fun. Um, I wanted to do a, um, an item in which, if you, when you right-click on it, it changes into another item, and when you right-click on that item, it, um, has some kind of an effect, and then it goes back to its original item. Now, uh, I got a suggestion about this for uh, doing my crossbow. So when you right-click on my crossbow, on the crossbow, I guess, um, it cocks the crossbow, and then when you uh, when you right-click it again, it shoots it, and then it's going to be empty again and consumes an arrow. So that's going to be pretty cool. And <laughs> I did not make any notes for this, or so... I might get burned on this. Let's just hope I don't have to repeat this tutorial. But yeah, I didn't do this before, so this might give me some errors and whatnot. But I got a I got a general idea of what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and get to it. So right off the bat, I made a whoops. That's kind of weird. Um, I made a, a new texture. So I have the normal blocking crossbow, and I have the blocking crossbow that's cocked. It kind of looks like this. Like there's, I made a little arrow outline in the middle, and the string, the like the crossbow string is like tied back, I guess. So that kind of makes sense. But um, yeah, that's what I made. And what we're gonna have to do is um, create a brand new item that's called the blocking crossbow cocked or something of that sort. So let's go ahead and do public static final item blockium. Crossbow cocked equals new item blockium. Crossbow cocked. I think this one's 600 because I want it right next to my other crossbow. I'll set item name. Blah, whoops. Like I said, I did not do this before, so I don't have any classes pre made. But what we're going to have to do is switch up the crossbow the two crossbow classes because the blocking crossbow right now is just going to serve as a placeholder and the cocked blocking crossbow <laughs> that kind of sounded funny cocked blocking <laughs> alright <laughs> um, I probably shouldn't have, shouldn't have called that cocked I don't know I'm, I'm just going to laugh throughout this some video but alright so our original crossbow is I'm not going to shoot anymore it's just going to transform into another item and this other, this new crossbow, is the one that's actually going to be shooting. So we're going to be doing some copy and pasting of classes. But, let's, uh, let's get on this. So we have our blocking crossbow cocked. And where's our crossbow? Glass block. Emulate ingot catalyst crossbow right here. Alright, let's make a comment block underneath. Let's do crossbow cocked. Mod loader dot add name blocky crossbow and then let's just give it a name Oops. and let's give it a oops Oop. I am messing up today. Uh, yeah, probably the only reason I why I'm releasing two videos today is because um Star Wars is coming out tomorrow, the full release, I guess. Well, it was full released um, now, but um, there it's a, like an official full release with a, the actual um, game. So right now the servers are down, so that's why I'm not playing. So I have time for this. So we're going to add a name, I'll replace the icon with items into our new texture. And we don't need a recipe because we're not actually going to create this crossbow. So that's all that we need in here. Now we need to make item blocking crossbow cocked. So let's go ahead and new class item blockium crossbow. Oops. Now what I have in plan is uh, I don't know if you remember from I think two tutorials ago. Uh, we're going to make a new um, a new item stack, which is going to be our new crossbow, 
and then on right click of this crossbow we're going to actually transform and return our new item stack so um, we have this here make sure this extends item and we're pretty much going to copy this right here just copy our whole blocking crossbow now you're probably not going to have to do this but for my code it's it has to work like this so let's do that uh, so that's fixed um so okay so it pretty much does everything that that we have it do in our other crossbow so right now it just shoots um but what did i want um also yeah i have this right now i have this commented out if you don't have this commented out it'll actually take one arrow when you shoot so if you just delete this comment right now it would um take away one arrow if you shoot and also do not forget that if you're actually making this for a mod and you're going to shoot arrows make sure to replace this with entity that inventory that has item make sure to replace this with item dot arrow dot uh... shifted index instead of dirt i just do it dirt for debugging purposes and also right here on the bottom replace this with arrow also item dot arrow dot shifted index other than that i mean we're pretty much good here um, yeah, it looks good. But what we're going to have to do in here is on item right click. So we're just going to delete this on player stopped using. And then we're going to go ahead and delete uh, this part right here. And what we're going to put in there is this right here. So you're going to, oops, nope, that's not what I wanted. I just got to forgot to comment this out. So you're going to outside in the class, not in the, what did I mess up? Implicit super constructor item is defined for default constructor. Let's define an explicit constructor. What did I just delete? Oh. Forgot a semicolon. Alright. Yeah, I hate semicolon errors. Usually when you forget a semicolon somewhere, it gives you an error somewhere down the list. So if you're getting an if you're getting an error somewhere like right here, you don't see the error, check right above that if you have a semicolon. It's a great tip to have in programming because semicolons can mess you up. Alright, so we're going to add this code in, in the class, not inside, of the uh, not inside the method, not inside any method, outside in the class, so after the first opening bracket, we're going to put a public static final item stack, capital I, capital S, and then let's give it a name, so it will be um, new crossbow, equals new item stack, parentheses, item dot, and we're actually going to do mod underscore blockium dot blockium crossbow cocked and then we're gonna do a comma one that's gonna be our new item stack and now that we have this we're gonna return instead of just returning item stack plain old item stack we're going to return new crossbow now it should be this easy <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be this easy so if it has a dirt block, okay. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be this easy, but let's try this out. Hopefully it works. Remember in our old crossbow class, we are just going to have a constructor and an on, on item right click method. So let me make, make this bigger. Let's actually go to creative mode because I don't feel like getting a crossbow. Now, I probably should have done this in single player. Well, whatever, we'll just do it in. So we're going to need dirt and our old crossbow right off the bat. And remember, there was no crafting recipe for our new crossbow, so I can't really make it. Okay, so here's our cock crossbow, and here's our... We have dirt, and we have the blocking crossbow, so let's go ahead and right-click this. Sweet, it changes into the old one. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, we can change that one. I totally forgot to return it back, so... I mean, that works. Our change works. And this one works. So, completely forgot about this. Let's go back to our crossbow cocked. And here, we're going to just copy this code again. And paste it into the class. Not in any method. Into the class after the first bracket. First opening bracket. And let's call this um, old crossbow. 
and we are going to return instead of um, making the mod that underscore blocking that blocking crossbow cocked we're gonna make it just blocking crossbow so this is our old crossbow and right here where it says on on item right click when it says return item stack we are going to go ahead and return old crossbow okay so there it goes now let's play this again hopefully this will work alright I'm back and I think I got it figured out so I don't know but like I really don't so let's just look at it let's see how I fixed it um, so before it didn't let me initialize um, our our regular crossbow in a private static, I mean public static final. So I, I went a little around that. So now if I right click, it changed into this one. If I right click again, it changed into that one. But you might have noticed that there's no shooting going on. And I will explain right now why. So basically when it goes through the our new crossbow and you right click on it, it checks if you have um it checks if you have dirt and then if you do it sets the item in use now it the item is in use as long as you are holding down right click but it or it returns a new crossbow already before you let go of the right click so when you by the time that you let go of the right click it is no longer this crossbow therefore it does not go through this method it goes through the method of this new crossbow so what we're going to need to do is move this whole thing into our on item right click. So let's go ahead and copy the whole code from inside the on player stopped using and simply paste it over this. Remember to keep oh uh, you don't know that code yet. I got to yeah. All right, so now that we have this code here, we are not going to need um the velocity for this. So you can delete all this all the all the math you can delete um, for right here when you see whatever it does math and there's an F in there just go ahead and delete this so it's just random dot bow and there's one F and there's one F and we pretty much got it I mean you can take like again you can uh, you can comment this in if you want or comment it out I guess I don't know which one that would be so it would take away one arrow when needed. Now the problem with this is that um, this is not really good for a crossbow. Let me actually comment this out. And oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I I got to tell you about this thing. So right here, when we declared our new crossbow, it, this worked fine. I mean, in, in our old crossbow class, this worked fine. You can return a new crossbow. For some reason, it did not let me declare the old crossbow. I don't know why it would not let me do this. And I tried this in the other class. It's just something with the blocking crossbow itself. I don't know what. Couldn't figure it out. So what I did is instead of return new items, I just did return and then I made a new item, like I made a new declaration or initialization without actually putting it in a variable so it just returns it right away there's no storing so you're gonna do a return space new space item stack parentheses mod underscore blocking dot blocking crossbow now you can do you can go ahead and put a comma one in here but I figured out that uh, the default for this is always a stack of one so you don't actually need the one in there so if we go back to our other class we could actually get rid of this one so it's just the item itself Let's go and save, and I'll show you what's wrong with this right now. That it can't possibly be a crossbow. It could be like a gun, and this would work for other items if you're not making it a shooting item, if you're making it something else. But, alright, so it changes, and it shoots, and it changes back. So that works. But you see, like, if I hold down right-click, it's in rapid-fire mode, and... That's why it could not actually be a good crossbow. Because you can't really shoot crossbows like this. So the good thing that we had about it before when it actually set the item in use is that you had to hold down the right button in order to shoot. So even though you could shoot pretty fast, you could not just hold it down and it would shoot. 
you had to like shoot it like a bow, which is a lot more realistic, I guess you could say, uh, of how a normal crossbow would shoot. Now, if I just hold this down, so I mean, this works. You know, it's I mean, I I guess it works. You know, like it works how it's supposed to, but um, I can't figure out how to do it so it actually works as a normal crossbow. So, I mean, this is how you're going to have to do it. Hopefully, you're not using this for a weapon, or maybe you could use this for a gun. Like, load the gun or something. I don't know. And as you uh, as you load it, you can make it consume, like, ammo or something. I don't know. Um, but that's the best I can do for now. I, will, I hope this helped for some people, because I know some people have been asking for this. And I actually got the suggestion today, so yeah. Um... But I mean that's that's all I can do for now. I'll try looking into this further. But like I said, like this is not that realistic. You can just hold it down. But that's pretty much how you can um, switch items on use. You just have to let's quit out of this. You pretty much just have to in your I on item right click. You just have to return the item that you want it to be. Now, like I said, it's pretty pretty. I don't know, weird to do with a crossbow. Um, I'm not sure it's quite possible yet to make it like shoot like a bow. But, uh, yeah. That's that. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, also, don't forget to comment out this whole method if you're going to do this. Because you're not going to need this. So we can just go ahead and get. Well, actually, I won't get rid of this because this might actually come in handy if I don't want it to shoot rapid fire. So I'm just going to keep this here, but that's pretty much it. I mean, you just have to make a new crossbow, add in a new texture. In our old class, we're just going to get rid of the, all the methods that make it shoot. And just it'll just return the new crossbow when on right-clicked. Um, here, we're going to add the all the shooting properties inside of our item right-click. So whenever you right-click, it shoots. Best thing about it is, it's rapid fire, so it's not realistic for a crossbow. Um... Then you're just going to return a new um, item stack that just reverts back to our old crossbow. And that's how you can keep switching between those. Um, that's all I got. I'm sorry I couldn't make you work like a crossbow, but I've, I've been, yeah. I've been, I've been spending some time on this. I, like, in between the break, I spent about a good 40 minutes trying to figure this out, and I couldn't. I kept getting errors and whatnot, so sorry for that. But, um, like always, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Comment down below. Uh, make sure to read the description because if you have questions, suggestions, or errors, um, the link for that is in the description in the Minecraft forum topic or page or whatever, thread. And post all your errors, suggestions, and questions in there. I'm more likely to answer those than I will by a PM. Just because I'm getting so many PMs with like the same errors so make sure to check in there some people on the forum will help you there there's a lot of helpful people on there and it just saves me time and it's more organized so um yeah thanks for watching see ya